You have lupus or some other inflammatory arthritis problem and you want permanent relief. What do you do? So first, let me be clear. At Bareford Rehab, we are musculoskeletal experts and specialists. What are we not? Metabolic or functional medicine specialists. So lupus or other inflammatory arthritis problems like rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis, they don't necessarily fall entirely under musculoskeletal problems. They're very metabolic. But we do have some good perspective that can help you get permanent relief. So first, we're gonna talk about our handy dandy problem chart right over here. All chronic pain, all diagnoses for any health issue should have a problem chart. And the problem chart is the list of specific issues that are causing somebody's pain or disease or whatever it is. It's not a garbage can term. Fibromyalgia is a garbage can term. It doesn't really tell us what we need to do. So it's specific pieces of our problem or diagnosis or however the, the symptoms are presenting in the body that allow us to fix it. What are the issues that can come up with something like lupus or an inflammatory arthritis problem? We're gonna talk about three specific problems. And notice right now, here's one problem, but this problem is underneath the symptom threshold. It's underneath when somebody would experience symptoms. When we have another problem, now we have two, this is getting close to having a problem, having pain, but it's not there yet. Now we have three problems, and this is above the symptom threshold. This person is experiencing pain. The next question is, what are these three problems? Metabolic, emotional, this one, adhesion. Let's talk about this first piece. The number one biggest piece with lupus or other inflammatory arthritis problems is our metabolism. Do we have gut bacteria issues, SIBO, or some other type of problem there? Do we have mineral deficiencies? Do we have other vitamins that we don't have? What's going on with the chemicals going on inside our body? Typically when someone has an inflammatory arthritis and we do a consult in the office, we usually say, look, your number one person you need right now is a functional medicine doctor. Ideally, somebody who specializes in lupus or inflammatory arthritis and who has a shit ton of testimonies that lets you know that you're in the right hands. So that is by far the biggest block. We are not experts in metabolism. We know enough to be dangerous. But traditionally with this, you can start on your own with a strict paleo diet where you're eliminating any inflammatory foods, grains, dairy, sugar, alcohol. And that often helps a lot of people with inflammatory arthritis. But if it doesn't, that just means it's out of our court and you need somebody who has an expertise in dealing with this problem. And guess what? If you deal with this problem, it goes away and it's not there anymore. The next block is the emotional piece. The reason why this is a big deal is there's studies that say when you have a high ACEs score test, you have a much higher risk of autoimmune diseases. The ACEs test is adverse childhood experiences test. When we have emotional wounds or emotional traumas, whether it's a big T trauma, like we experienced war or molestation or rape, or a little T trauma, our parents made us feel a certain way, or something happened at the playground at school, those are little T traumas as well. And when we have those adverse childhood experiences, it makes us a much higher risk where the immune system attacks ourself which is what an autoimmune disease is. Our immune system is literally attacking our own body in some way. And with lupus, it's our skin and it's our joints. And I believe it's some of the organs inside the GI system as well. So understanding that that's there, we need to do something to start to deal with it. Whether it's psychotherapy, whether it's meditation and journaling, whether it's reading certain books about shame and guilt, whether it's psychedelics, whatever else it is. This problem needs to be addressed directly as well so that this problem goes away and we no longer have this emotional piece. And unfortunately that emotional piece takes time, but it's very worthwhile if you've struggled with anxiety, depression, shame, guilt, PTSD, whatever else it is, because it definitely makes people's lives better as they start to address that piece. 
And the piece that we specialize in, that's the most common cause of chronic pain, especially in 30 to 60 year olds, is the adhesion piece. We're the only clinic in New Jersey specialized in addressing adhesion, and it's a huge deal. We have people traveling from all across the United States in order to get this addressed. And we check that by seeing what your ranges of motion are, and then feeling if you have this adhesion stuff and this glue. And then we start to remove it each treatment to make sure we get permanent relief. Yeah. So we've definitely had people with inflammatory arthritis and lupus who have come into the office who have not addressed these pieces, and we've gotten them some percentage of permanent relief. Maybe it's 30%, maybe it's 50%, maybe it's 70%. Yeah. But we can only get rid of the adhesion piece with coming you coming into this office. We cannot get rid of these first two pieces, the metabolism and the emotional piece. We can point people in the right direction, but we'd be lying if we said we could fix your PTSD by getting rid of adhesions up here. It's not the way that it works. So if you're wanting to get your lupus or your inflammatory arthritis better, you can start to deal with the emotional piece and the metabolic pieces on your own, cleaning out your diet, the strict paleo diet. We recommend Chris Cresser for that purpose and dealing with the emotional pieces, whatever you want, the way you want. Starting psychotherapy, meditation, journaling, reading books, trying, looking at the psychedelics, even though they're still illegal currently, although ketamine and certain other medicines are starting to become legal. Start to work on those things or, and then to get the adhesion piece addressed, that's where we can really help you. So the question is, are you ready to get permanent relief for this and to fix this? And then if you're ready, what path do you want to take in front of you to start to deal with this? And if you want to talk about it, just DM us and we could discuss pointing you in the right direction. Have a good day.